I was thinking about pound cake the other day and asked myself whether it's really necessary to put so much effort into it. Cream the butter and sugar, sift the flour, gradually add in the eggs. I mean, can't you just throw everything together and keep beating until it's ready? It's called a pound cake for that reason, right? I'm sure I'm making all of the master bakers out there cringe and the cookbooks will mock me, but don't break out the torches and pitchforks just yet. Watch until the end and decide for yourself, because I tried making both an easy and a way more complicated cake that follows all of the instructions. I used exactly the same recipe for both cakes. Let's start with the more complicated one that follows the exact instructions. Whip two sticks of softened butter, so at room temperature, with one and a quarter cups of sugar until it's so smooth that you can run it along the edge of the bowl without getting stuck, so the sugar is completely dissolved. Next, gradually add in the eggs, until there are five eggs in the batter. Next, sift the flour and baking powder through a fine sieve to get rid of any lumps, then mix it again. Next, slowly add in the milk so that it's blended in nice and evenly. All right, done. The consistency looks really good. It's almost pudding-like. Now I'm going to pour it into the loaf pan and bake it. For the easy cake, it's the same ingredients and the same amounts, but just put everything in a bowl and beat. Yep, that's it. Now I'll bake it at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. This is what they looked like while they were in the oven. The complicated one clearly rises more, which you can also see in the results. The easy one is on the left and the complicated one is on the right. And you can definitely see the difference. From the outside, I think the easy one looks a little better. But let's see if it looks as good on the inside. Hmm, a bit dense, very yellow but also really moist. And now for the complicated one. Unfortunately, it has a crack. No idea why, but it doesn't look quite as dense. The pores are a bit more even. It gives a little more, and the crust looks better visually. And now for the taste test, which is really surprising. The easy one is way moister, has more flavor, and is also tastier than a slightly airier, but also drier, more complicated cake. I'm really surprised, but I would definitely recommend trying this at home. And yeah, maybe someone could explain to me in the comments why the easy cake is better. I don't really understand.